The Elon Tesla app is evolving all the time. We have chargers, AC, DC, and now we're taking a giant step with the newest equipment for testing, the acquirement of this grid emulator. We're now able to test high power, grid capacity, power quality for trucks, for EVs, for uh, building material, and more. As ALAD is an initiative of the joint Dutch grid operators, there are certain things very important for us. On the one hand, the capacity of the electricity grid, so the amount of power we can transport, and also the, the power quality, so the quality of the voltage and the current in the electricity grid. To test those things, you need to have a system where you have total control on the one hand of your electricity grid, and on the other hand, to be able to communicate with the charging stations of vehicles with the newest protocols that allow for things like smart charging um, but also for bi-directional charging. The system consists of three parts. On the one hand, the electricity grid that you're emulating. On the other hand, the emulator of the electric vehicle or the charging station. And then we have the emulators that are emulating the DC power. So they're emulating a battery or they're emulating the power from a DC charger. These are our grid emulators. We've got in total four of them of 90 kilowatt each. We already had a grid emulator, but that was only capable of doing 30 kilowatts. And now we have 360 kilowatts. So it's a 12 times increase. We can do a lot more now than we could in the past. Via these devices, we can create an electricity grid in a, in a clean way. So we get a smooth sinus wave of 230 volts, 50 hertz, just the, the perfect grid. And that way, when we do test with electric vehicles and charging stations, and we notice any kind of distortion, we know that the distortion is coming from the device under test. It is not already present in the electricity grid, but we can also use these devices to create a grid that's not perfect. So we can make the sinus wave less smooth. So we introduce distortions on it, or we play around with the voltage levels. We can even play around with the frequency of the grid. This is a charge discovery system. So this emulates an electric vehicle or a charging station. And it can emulate all kinds of new types of protocols, like the ISO 1511 8-20 protocol, which also allows for bi-directional charging, so also giving energy back to the grid. And we feed this system via the DC supplies we have, which are also 360 kilowatts. So this way it can, well, really pretend to be a DC charging station, including the power going to the vehicle, or the power coming from the vehicle back to the charging station, because it's all bi-directional. So the other thing we can test with the system are the DC chargers. So when we do these tests, we take this one again and we make this pretend to be an electric vehicle. Electric vehicle that wants to charge on DC. Then we connect this one to the DC supplies we have. And these DC supplies, they emulate the battery of the electric vehicle. And the charging station itself, we connect that to the AC grid emulators we have. The DC charger uh, is on both ends, uh, connected to the testing system. And this kind of testing is called hardware in the loop testing, and it makes you have full control of the whole testing process. This system makes us really future-proof. It can already communicate the new standards like ISO 1508-20, which also allows for V2G or bidirectional charging. It's even capable of being upgraded in the future to also allow megawatt charging. So that's still an upcoming development, of course, but the system is already ready to, to be upgraded for that. We're really looking forward to do the high power testing. So with the high power DC chargers and also with the high power devices like trucks, buses, construction equipment to really check how these behave on the electricity grid. The ELAD test lab is an open lab. Everybody is welcome. And if you want to test your equipment, your car, your truck, your building material for grid stability, power quality and more, we have Lots of opportunities, new equipment. You can come to us and work with us.